I'd like to raise a, an emerging issue that's of interest to the lake, and that's Raleigh's uh, proposal for a, a pipeline to siphon water from Car Lake, which is the Roanoke River reservoir. Uh, I bring that to you as an issue because the water is our value here in this county. Uh, and at the same time, I'd like to offer a solution. Uh, the way to encourage conservation of water consumption is probably to raise the price, as tough as that sounds. And one way to increase entrepreneurial businesses is for the state to maybe encourage financial incentives that could bring in a desalinization plant somewhere along the coast that could provide water not only for Raleigh, but for the state of North Carolina, uh, as they do in Mexico, as they do in the military on uh, battleships uh, throughout the world, uh, and, and create jobs, provide water, blend the cost of the desalinization water with the natural supply to uh, naturally encourage people to pay attention to their consumption, and, uh, and obviously we're not in favor of seeing the water stolen from our watershed to the chick here. It's to the south or to the north, and we would, we would like to help in that poll. Well, the, as you know, the free market is supposed to set the price of goods. If the demand goes up, for instance, if a pipeline were created in order to move water to a different watershed, that's an increase in demand, the price goes up. Now, if that were to happen properly, according to the free market, then you would be compensated for the water that came out, and then you could take that money back around in a drought situation and bring more water back in. That's the way that's supposed to work. Unfortunately, when the government gets involved, they set price controls and such regulations to where the price doesn't always keep up with the market demand, and that's when you have a drought that you can't pay for more water to bring in, and then you're in trouble. So if we, if we get a lot of the government out of the way and allow the free market to work properly, what that's going to do is it's going to take care of that situation. Because if you move you know, X amounts of uh, uh, hundreds of thousands of gallons out of this watershed into the next, then the free market would demand fair price for that, which you deserve. If you got fair price and then you ran out of water, you could easily just go and take that money you got at fair price and bring <coughs> more water or anything else that the community needs. Likewise, the desalination plant. Under a free market, what that would do is that would uh, actually, an entrepreneur would step up and see an opportunity. And he would build this and it would allow water to come in during times of drought. What we need to do is we need to have less reliance on what the government is doing in the price regulations and price setting and more reliance on the free market because that, it, again, it creates jobs, creates employment opportunity, opportunity to advance, and it will also uh, solve the issues that we're having.